What is going on everybody? Tomeister here and welcome back to Bixton in City Skylines 2. In this episode, I would like to fix a number of issues that the city is facing. One of which is our high rent prices that a lot of people are complaining about all over town and all over in Auburn as well. So pretty much across the map, rents are just too damn high. So that is problem number one that I'm going to go ahead and fix just now. So I've got a ton of suggestions from you guys from just building smaller lots to providing more low rent housing in some of the areas that are most affected by uh, some high rent prices. Uh, so let's start by doing that and then I'll get into what the other issues are. So I think the best place to provide low rent housing would be over here near the university. Just because the people that are going to be moving into these low rent buildings are mostly going to be students. So I am going to go ahead and rezone some of these lots. And actually, before I go even farther... Wow, okay, so the university is almost full. Is there anything I can provide as far as upgrades? So I already put the extension wing. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here for capacity, but... I might as well just place all of the available upgrades that I have. And oh my god, this rain is tanking my FPS. So I'm going to go ahead and place a library over in this corner. And then the University Park. I think I pretty much have no choice but to place it here. But unfortunately this road is preventing me from doing that. So I'm just going to remove this segment. And I should be able to fit a park here. Bam, there we go. Sweet. Wow, it is pouring here in Bixton today. Uh-oh. Um, can I even pass a road through here? No, I'm going to have to move the whole road. I think I'll do this. Yeah, I'll do that and then just connect it up here. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a full-fledged university campus now, guys. We're gonna have to build another campus here pretty soon because uh, capacity is becoming an issue. Oh, some of these low-income cheap rent buildings are might be a little small. I think it would be better if this was like one big building. I'll see what these are going to look like. And in some of these corners, I may as well place some more. And then maybe I can provide some walking path oh that's too bad that you can't connect this up well I'll do that and I'll provide a walking connection all the way across here make this as accessible as I possibly can for the students Maybe I'll provide some regular housing as well here. And actually, this is more for looks, but can I place a parking lot here? Yes, I can. So I am going to put a parking lot in the back of this building. Just because of the North American theme that I'm going for. Normally, each building would have parking availability. Actually, hang on. I'm going to move this over here. And then I will provide road access to this building.
And just for realism's sake, I might as well provide road connections to this corner of the university. And this is probably going to destroy some zones, but oh well. All right, there we go. And then I think over here, this will provide us with some extra room for some low density commercial spaces just like this and then maybe a few cheap apartment buildings slash dorms and it looks like that took care of my demand just like that that's really cool And I think here I'll do row housing. Let's try this. All right, so I think this is probably going to take some time to solve this low or this high rent issue because I think these folks have to become unhappy enough <laughs> or something needs to change for them. To eventually move out of their homes and then move into one of these low rent buildings so that may take some time maybe by the end of this episode we can uh, begin to see that but for now another thing that I would like to get into and I guess at the beginning of the episode I, I kind of explained this as being a problem but it's not really a problem I just want to expand the city over here near Bedford so I'm going to purchase this little chunk of land here as I'm going to build an interchange, a little simple trumpet interchange here that will connect this main avenue up to the highway and eventually providing a main connection to Bedford over here. So I'm going to work on this interchange for a few minutes in time-lapse mode and I'll catch up with you in just a minute.
Well, it looks like winter is fast approaching as we already have snow in October, which, you know, is not really uncommon here in Canada anyways. Uh, but despite all of this zoning over here, it looks like we're not even close to solving the rent issue. In fact, I think it's gotten worse. So again, I've gotten some new high density residential demand. So I think I'm going to go a little more aggressive with the low rent housing. And I think I'm going to target <laughs> the actual low rent or, or the, the, the people who are complaining of high rent. Um, so I'm just going to go around town, plop a few apartment buildings here and there. This is probably the most cruel way to deal with this issue. Uh, but there's no other way. Well, there probably is, but there's no other good way. So... I'm going to do this. We're going to plop a few buildings here and there, and hopefully it's going to help resolve this issue. Oh my god, the summers are so short on this map, guys. If you don't like winter, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I personally don't really mind it. It gets a little old towards the end of the season, but, you know, having snow is pretty cool in your city. And, oh, it looks like that's it for our high-density demand. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I guess we'll just leave it as is, and hopefully the issue will go away. I wonder if, like, land value has something to do with it. If I check my land value... Land value... So the dark blue is really high... So for some reason, <laughs> this area over here is very high. Building land value. Well, pretty much everything is in the green for the most part. I guess like all of the bigger buildings, except this hotel for some reason. Wouldn't you think that that would be like super high value? <laughs> Anyways, oh, look at that. It's cleared a, a few of these uh, high rent icons. I mean, I guess I, I just plowed them out of town, but uh, got rid of a few of them at least. Um, oh yeah, another thing too. I gotta not forget to check my services every now and then. So as you can see here, this school is just packed to the max. I'm gonna go ahead and place a, uh, an extension wing and I'm gonna make room for a play park right here by the water very beautiful unfortunately I don't think I'm gonna have enough room for uh, what is this a children's clinic yeah I'm not gonna be able to fit to uh, to fit this along this school but that's okay um, what about over here the high school okay we're doing fine over there the college we barely have enough room but that's not really a problem for now what about this school over here oh yeah we're maxed out Holy. I'm probably going to have to play some more schools here. Because what do I have for elementary schools? I only have these two schools over in this corner of the map. And then over here in Auburn. Oh, that's a high school. I have barely anybody going there. Elementary school here. I may as well preemptively place an extension wing. And I already have a park and a clinic. The college, there's not a ton of students yet. So, for now, everything looks pretty much honky-dory over here in Auburn. So, I'm not I'm not really going to touch anything in that part of the map in this episode. Uh, I'm really going to focus in over here uh, in Bedford. I think I may as well just name this whole region here Bedford and, and call it a day. Uh, but this area over here desperately needs a school. So, I think the best location for a school would be... I'm going to try to pick a nice flat area so we don't deform the terrain too, too much. Honestly, right over here by these train tracks seems like a good spot. So, unfortunately, all of these businesses and homes are going to have to go. But, uh, yeah, I think this was really the most ideal spot. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and place these play parks no matter what. 
if I plop down a school, just because, you know, every elementary school needs a play park. Uh, the firehouse, I may just nudge it over a little bit to make room for the play park. Is that far enough? Can I get it to fit here? Nope. I'll just scooch it over one more. Just like this. And now I can fit the park. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. So, <laughs> it's really hard to get a good look at an area when it's winter. When there's snow on the ground. You know, because the houses kind of blend in with the terrain. Uh, but yeah, I think things are going pretty well here so far. So I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to build anything on the hill just... Oh my god, what? What happened over here? <gasps> oh no, this is terrible, guys. A bus has burnt down. Are there any casualties? Can we see what went on here? Car accident. Can I view which ones? Well, what time is it? It's 7 o'clock. This must be the car accident that just happened. Okay, nobody's died. Okay, good. Alright. Oh my god, a bus full of people catching fire. That is... Whew, that could have been a lot worse. Oh, here's a good spot for some low rent. Right by the railroad tracks. Alright, oh my god. Yeah, a lot of people are complaining here. Not enough customers, high rent. Hmm. I think I made... I'm playing like Toronto Simulator right now. House prices are just out of this world over here in Bixton. Anyways, uh, let's keep going. I'm going to continue to expand over here in Bedford. So, providing a... Uh, Street layout over here. I don't know how I would feel about having a railroad track in my backyard, so I'm just going to run a street parallel to it. There, all right. So I got a decent street layout going. And let's go into our bucket tool and just start laying down the residential. So for now, I'm just gonna paint everywhere there is Maybe not everywhere. That's going to be a pretty steep. Uh oh, why is nothing building over here? Is this not a suitable spot? Okay, there we go. We got some. Oh, wait. <gasps> Oops. I just zoned the wrong type of housing. That would be why. Okay, guys. Well, I'm sorry for making you destroy your vocal cords. Screaming at your monitor, probably. Um, that would do it. There we go. Houses are now coming in. Okay. I was like, why is nothing building? But my demand is like sky high. There. All right. This makes much more sense. And is that it? Did I get everything? I think so. There, we'll start off with that. A 
have some nice little waterfront properties over here, both big and small. Just like that. And I might actually rezone a couple of these. Maybe have some little shops. Oh, what's this? A painter mansion. This painter is known for the... For, blah, this painter is known the world over, but chooses to live in this city. Wonderful. Well, let's go ahead and do that. What does this do? Plus six well-being within 1.5 kilometers. I think Mr. Painter here is going to settle down in Bedford. Um, maybe... You know what? Why not right here? And this little... He'll have this little peninsula to himself. Bam. What a beautiful home. Nice view of this little island over here. Sweet. All right. Um, uh oh, do I already have like some skyscrapers coming in here? I think I might. Or is this just like... Oh, okay, it's just a, the crane is like really high. Uh, okay, so as far as like schools, I'm good. Healthcare, I'm not good. How am I doing for money over here? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm, I'm actually making a decent amount. I think this area could use a clinic for sure. Um, but let's see here. I want to have this in a central location. I think I'll build it. I'll replace these buildings here. Yep. So we have this connector road here that'll provide access to all of this. So everybody is in a short drives range from this clinic uh police police is starting to get a little out of reach over here i think i'm due for a police station however i think it would make more sense for me to place it over here maybe just so we don't have too much overlap but at the same time oh yeah it is this is a pretty big building maybe Gosh, I don't know where to place this. Okay, well, first I'm going to extend this four-lane road a little ways, maybe to, like, up here. Should I have a level crossing here, maybe? Ah, it won't hurt anything. Or will it? Because then all this traffic's going to be coming through here. Yeah, maybe I won't do that. Uh, actually, let me fix this there. So now vehicles can turn. And I think I'll do the same here. It'll just make these businesses function a little better. And then this can stay divided. Uh, okay, well, for policing, I think I'm just not going to take care of that this episode. I may, I'm probably going to expand here very shortly, and at that point, I'll place a police station. Hopefully crime doesn't get out of hand over here. Um, and parks. I for sure should place a couple of parks. Maybe a dog park over in this corner. Right here. And, oh yeah, for sure I need some parks. Over here. Uh, yeah, maybe another dog park. Right here. And why not a small park right in front of the school? That is perfect. Awesome, guys. Everybody's happy over here. Now, for public transportation, I should probably make a line going here. I don't think it's worth making a bus station yet, but eventually I'll do that. So, let's do... I'm going to make a couple bus stations here. In front of the school. And then I'll do the cheaper ones here just because. 
and I'll make a bus stop. Build one here and then one over here. And that is simply just to provide enough time for the buses to switch lanes because we're going to be making a left turn down this road. And I think that should do it. So what I'm going to do here is just make a new bus line going from downtown mountainside. I may as well overlap these two stations. And then I'm simply going to run across all of these brand new neighborhoods over here. And I'm gonna fill oh shoot. Yeah, okay. That is not really what I wanted to do, but I'll build a couple of stations here. And let's start over. So right from downtown, we'll go to this station. To this one. This one. We're gonna make a loop. Over here, and then simply make our way back to Mountainside to complete the line. And let's change this to. Uh, pink. There. Let's try to, like, kind of rotate throughout the rainbow. <laughs> and Bedford, well. I'm going to expand its borders all the way to the very edge of the map over here. Oh, what's this? Overlapping items. What's overlapping? Something's overlapping, preventing me from going farther. Maybe I gotta, nope. I don't understand what's overlapping. Oh, I know what's overlapping. It's over here. This corner's being a pain. Uh, oh, no. I think I ruined it. Bedford. Oh, okay. Nope, it's good. Oh, shoot. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay, it's all. it's going to work out. So let's do this. And then this. And all of this is now Bedford. Okay, it's really hard to make out the lines because it's winter now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I guess the next step will be to uh, make a zone here in between everything. I might wait until the spring to do that. As uh, this is going to become a large park. Okay, well... I've solved nothing this episode, but we're at 30,000 people in the city. And, uh, you know, we're making a lot of money per month. Well, not a lot. I wouldn't say it's a ton of money, but, you know, we're making decent profits to the point where I can start to invest into more services. Uh, but for now, let's, let's just deal with this problem that we're having here in town a little further. Oh my god. Oh shoot. Oh my god, guys. I'm having a rough time this episode. I didn't want to provide them with massive skyscrapers all over. I simply wanted to provide some cheap housing for these folks. Oh, well, it looks like uh, I totally forgot where I rezoned a couple of houses in this corner. But oh well, we'll be able to tell once the massive skyscraper sprouts out from the ground. Yeah. And I guess this will add a, another layer of realism. Having all of these buildings coming up everywhere. Because, you know, like... This is, like, this whole peninsula is kind of downtown. So it'll look really cool to have some more medium rise buildings such as these ones over here just kind of sprouting out all over town but 
Bixton is booming, guys. This is already one of the biggest cities that I've built in my city skyline just to career, my very short career. Um, but it's already shaping up to be a wonderful city. So uh, with that, that is going to be it for this episode. I'm going to wrap things up. I try to keep these episodes to a reasonable length. Um, but let me know, guys. Do you enjoy the long format videos or do you enjoy the shorter format? I'm, I'm kind of liking these, you know, 30 to 40 minute videos. It's, uh, it's, it's a good amount of time. You know, it's like a, an average episode of your favorite show on Netflix kind of thing, you know? Uh, okay, so, uh, again, yeah, I didn't really solve <laughs> all of the, the problems I set out to do. But, unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So, next episode, you know what? I'm just going to keep expanding the city. Um, I have a ton of progression points. Uh, like, yeah, I, I got to get into using those. <laughs> We're almost level 11. I'm going to get a ton more points here in not very long. Um, and, you know, we're making some bank. So I got to uh, to start investing into maybe some um, specialized industry, maybe, or, or all that kind of stuff. So anyways, guys, that will be it for today. I thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy my episodes. If you do, hit that like button. Be sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of future content. And with all that being said, take care, guys. See you in the next episode.